6.01 p.m. I'm calling to order the June 18, 2024 meeting of the Rutland Conservation Commission. Present in the room, Melissa Danza, Jared Gentilucci, Joe Delaquilla, Skip Clark, and Peter Crane. I see <coughs> Tamika on Zoom and a couple other guests. Hi, Brian. We'll be talking to you in a little while. Ah, da, 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 da. find the right thing so I can. No, not that one. Yeah, that's the right change screen to share right there. Starting with meeting minutes of June 4. I've read them. Anybody else? Should I sc scroll through them or I'll make a motion to approve as written? Do we have enough people? Yeah, you can second it. All, all you need is a majority of the of people present. Of present. And that's only two. Yeah, that's all it takes. No, it's no. A people at present and voting. Right, so it's only two of you. Right. There's five of us. Present and voting. The three of you will okay. abstain. I've had enough discussions with town council about this. <laughs> <laughs> so I will second that motion. Any discussion, corrections, questions, comments? And all in favor, we'll start over here with Skip. Abstain. Telecola? Abstain. Gentilucci, aye. Danza, abstain. Crane, aye. Moving on, we have... Request for a Certificate of Compliance at 149 Glenwood, which should be this one. Kenwood. Kenwood. Did Kenwood. I say Glenwood? Yeah. Yes, thank you. It just rolls right out. I don't know about. They all sound the same, right? <laughs> it's a wood. It's a, a wood road. <laughs> the grass is all growing completely. I think it's actually ready to mow or well, been mowed. Every place is stabilized. Questions, comments? That's all we were waiting for. Yeah, I did a drive by. It looked fine to me. <laughs> it looked grassy. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Good scene. Uh, <laughs> I will not make any of the rotten jokes I was thinking of making right now. I will instead wait for a motion. Uh, motion to issue the COC for 149 Kenwood. Second. Not Glenwood. Other discussion. Roll call. Clock eye. Dalko, I. Gentle Lucia. Dan's I. Green I. Now we have a request to extend the order of conditions for 12 Phillips Road. We have a letter from, and a whole packet from Chris Lucas. Actually, I'll put him on the screen so you can see him here. So much, yeah. Um, <coughs> So, Chris, go ahead. Great. Thank you. Uh, for the record, my name is Chris Lucas with Lucas Environmental, professional and soil, a professional wetland and soil scientist. Uh, we're seeking a extension to the order of conditions for 12 Phillip Road. Um, the order will be expiring in August of this year. Um, they're planning to start construction, hopefully in mid to late July. So we'll be in touch with Tamika shortly on that once we finalize some scheduling. So we don't anticipate having the work done by August. Um, so we're seeking an extension. We do have two administrative approvals for some very minor changes uh, associated with the utilities. Um, the last dated November 16th, 2002, excuse me, 2022. Um, so we're just here tonight to get a three-year extension um, on the order. We anticipate work should be done this year, but obviously we'll have two years of monitoring for the replication area. So we, we'd like a three-year extension. Um, I also did want to point out the last set of plans that you have on record is uh, dated November 8th of 2022. Um, they have revised and I included the plans in here. The current plan set is um, basically the same. You uh, November 8th plans were a preliminary construction drawing set. Um, the plans before you are May 15th, 2023. They added a couple notes and stamped them. So that's the only difference which I submitted with the request. Mm -hmm. 
Otherwise, if you have any questions, let me know. You answered the big question I had, which is when you think you're going to get started. Me too. <laughs> um, we're we're mid-July. So um, I, just to refresh everyone's memory on this, this is the order of conditions for the cell tower that is, I'm just going to call it between Phillips Road and uh, uh, the middle school. Um, they could not gain access to the middle school driveway because it's a driveway and not a road. Um, so we, they went through the entire process coming, getting access from Phillips. Uh, I'm not going to go over all the details for that. Questions or comments, anyone? I don't know. I think we should issue it an extension. How many years? Oh yeah. How many years do you want, Chris? Three. Um, well, we, we would like three. Uh, we anticipate work should be done this year, but we have two years of wetland monitoring to do. So we'd like the order open. Now we have corrective measures are needed or anything during that time. We have the flexibility to do it. We don't anticipate that, but you never know with, you know, as you know, Melissa, with replication, sometimes there's herbivory and other things, and we might have to do some replantings. So we, we ideally we'd like three years to cover the wetland replication monitoring period on this. Mm -hmm. And if we finish up early, and as soon as the monitoring is complete, we like we file for a certificate of compliance. Okay. Other questions or comments? You need a second, Peter. Well, did you actually make the motion? Yeah, I heard just you said I made the motion. Okay. A second. Last call for discussion. Roll call. Clark I. Talk I. Gentilucci I. Dan's I. Crane I. You got three years. Peter. Sir. Uh, I just wanted, Peter, it's Tamika. I just wanted to let everybody know um, that I'm out of the office this week, but I will get everybody their documents um, early next week, if that's okay. Sure, you vacation taking person, you. Vacationer. <laughs> <laughs> no problem for us. Thank you. I appreciate the time this evening. Thank you. You are very welcome. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good night. Ah, we have a request to amend the order of conditions for the, doesn't that have an address, Millbrook Road? Is there an address? 23 miles, 23. It's 23 miles slash Millbrook. I call okay. it miles, yeah. In truth, I call it miles too. Every time I see Millbrook, I say, what, 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 <laughs> what do they call it? I don't know, it's miles. I, but I, don't I know it's miles. But. Well, I think it's a funny thing with the history of the road and what it got named when. And so... It's tax bill usually no, yeah, exactly. So all right. Uh, just the only place it exists is Millbrook. Is on the uh, DOT filings there, chapter ninety. It exists, and it, Millbrook is it's, is described as starting at the intersection of Mold Mill and Miles. Uh, let me just get this thing out of the way. Yeah. And going down. So a bit, passed over. Well, we've got. As we discussed at the last meeting, and now it's on paper, is this is the area right here that's the approved replication area for 6,000 square feet of wetland replication. That's what's been approved. Bring it back to what, what, what happened. I went and I staked this area out. And just even walking down to that area, this is all grown in in the last three years to almost unwalkable but it's more than 50% wetland vegetated. This whole entire shaded area, if left alone, will become eventually a wooded wetland because of the, the, the tree growth, the ground growth, the brush growth, everything out there is just all conducive of wetland. So, and in this area here, there's a stone wall right here. To get on the other side of that stone wall, in this area, we've got trees, we've got oak trees that are 30 inches in diameter, maple trees that are 20 inches in diameter. You got all sorts of forested that we'd have to wipe that out just to dig that out. And the there's a lot of mountain laurel in here, but the when we were out there this springtime, I was actually out there with, with the DEP, with Kimberly Roth, and she came out because she was looking to see the soil piles of the burden that we kept for the wetland replication, the, the, the material that he pulled out of the driveway, we stockpiled it there because she didn't quite believe that we did that. <laughs> she goes, well, why isn't that built yet? And I go, well, it's, just, it's, it's March, so 
they started in November, actually, like October, November, and worked through the winter. So make that long story short, when she came out here, she goes, oh, well, that, that's, this is looking a little wet. I'm like, well, this wasn't, because we had an NRAD that we did when we did the, salt, this, the senior housing project, and the wetland line is way up, way up in here. That's where the, the, the designated wetland line was. So Jenny said, I'm not doing any, this is all done. This project's done. The, the senior housing project is up here, up on the hill. Nothing's gonna be done here except that these piles are gonna be leveled out and turned into the we had wild wildflower or whatever you planted over there, up in this area. And then that's it for forever. This is a gravel road going down to the maintenance of the detention pond. So this area here actually is being fed by there's a there's an outflow pipe from the design of this of the uh, senior housing project. That's over surface coming down the hill like this. And it's actually, in the design, we had a pipe going under the driveway. And Quinn Engineering said, no, nah, we don't want that pipe. Remember that, Jimmy? The pipe under the, the entrance to the senior housing project. He says, what do you need that for? I said, well, there's a lot of water coming down the channel. Said, well, we didn't do that. We didn't put a pipe there. And all the water is, instead of going down Main Street through the woods, to a dropped inlet that the Commonwealth has. It's all actually coming into the top of the hill, coming around the condos, because he made a swale, and it's, it's coming along this wall and dumping here. So it's taking all that water and just keeps feeding it. That's, that's why we have cattails, as you Joe saw a few weeks ago, all over the place. So what we're asking is, in lieu of coming down here and disturbing 6,000 square feet, we're willing to put this whole area as a conservation or, or classified as a wetland, and we'll put little placards all along this, or back behind the detention pond and around this edge here, so everybody that lives up here in the senior housing project sees that this is just a wet meadow wetland, and we're gonna finish this, cleaning this up, these two piles, grade them out, seat over them, and <coughs> compensate for this replication area without actually disturbing this area and cutting these trees and creating a road through this already established area to create this area. That's what we're here before for an amendment to this. Well, I thought when Glenda and I walked out with you, yep. when we were checking out the piles, mm -hmm. uh, we saw the same conditions, or I shouldn't say same conditions, but preconditions on those around those piles uh, that existed where everything else has kind of turned into, right? You know, quasi, right? Uh, uh, might be wetland, you know. Uh, so, so when Glenda and I were talking about it out there, and I don't mean to speak for her. But uh, we thought it would have been a good idea to spread that out and let that go to. Do let it go like naturally. Whatever bushes, happens. Whatever happens. Blueberry bushes happens. are going to be. Right. Are already prol proliferating. So it would be, you know, a pretty short hop farm to, to crawl all over that, too, if it's graded properly. Right. <clears throat> you know, because it really so didn't make sense to cut. Cut additional timber. Big timber. Yeah. It's giant stuff. That's it? why I use the word timber. And, uh, <laughs> big, big timber. timber. Uh, and cross, you know, attempt to cross all of that to, to get down to that 6,000. It's such a small. Right. This is the air. This is the size of the volume that needs to be created. <laughs> and I know just throughout the pockets, even down in the low end, We've got more than six thousand square feet of of well, high bush up here. Up here, this is this is uh, not not the shaded section. Talk about where the piles. Oh, those piles are. Well, the, that's, uh, that's got to be probably. Well, if this is six thousand square feet, those two piles together are probably close to it. And those are actually the piles themselves. <coughs> but the shaded area. The 
Canadian area works out to be close to three and, a, three, three and three quarter acres of area that would still could be developed one way or the other, but wouldn't be. It's, you know, he could still go down and, and do something down there, but there's no reason for it. And he's, he's up to, Jimmy said, I'm not, I don't want to do anything down there. We're done with this project. So instead of mowing it as a hay field, we'll just let it go natural. Because they could mow it. You know, the, the association could come up here and say, well, we're going to have this fresh hog every year and keep it low. or just let it go to natural habitat. The legal description of the property, is that... Is that all one piece, one this, house? This section here goes through this. So that's already doubled even on this lot. And this, Jimmy has rights to do this through his paperwork of the senior housing open space area. So that can be... It's a recorded document that he's able to... Basically, the question I would ask is, is it possible to put a conservation restriction on it? So that way they would, I don't you know can guarantee, this way here, you can guarantee that nothing's going to happen to it. You can ask the, who can ask, because you can ask his attorney. Probably could. I'm a child, so whatever. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's only three and three quarters acres. That's not big enough. Maybe five or more. Yeah. For the state to pay attention to it for as a CR. Ah. Uh. Oh, well, little plaques and everything down there. I don't think anyone ever go down there. So five A. All right, hold on. Um, no, it these really it has to be five acres. Huh? But well, does it matter if if it we're be one it doesn't if, count the if it comes time before you guys as right. you know we're we're establishing this to be not touched. Right. It was it was it's on record. Well, the other thing we could do, Peter, is to declare an unbuildable lot. Yeah. Then no further, other than what was approved, this is it. That's, that wouldn't be bad. Pay attention. <laughs> to take the land away from you. <laughs> no, we, would, we could put a restriction that, other than what was approved for the senior housing, that's it. No, no other additional units can be added than what was already approved. And that could be... Well, so... Let me start my comments by saying I am in favor of not getting down to that area that was set aside for replication and doing everything to do it there to perform that replication. I don't see value to the town or to the wetlands to do that there. Um, but that's as much thought as I have about it. So, any discussion? Melissa? Um, I just don't know the legality behind it because it's a separate lot. And well, you have to look well, at the fill but, on the lot that occurred. But this this area, which was... Yeah, I'm, a, I know. I'm just talking so about... So we could, we could leave on, that. Julian, let me finish. Okay. Let me finish. Okay. Because if you want to go <coughs> that route, did you do your butter notices? We did. Okay. Because you would also have to include that lot, include that on the NOI, record it against that lot, like that series of events as well. Because you'd be, you're amending an NOI to include more than just the parcel we're talking about then. Okay, so then having said that, can we leave it at this? Because this area, this is the property line for this lot here. So this entire area, this is what was to be replicated. Now, this was deemed upland, and we got a permit to make this wetland. So it, by default, already turned into, I would say if nothing gets touched here, it's always going to be a wetland. Plus, he's going to add all this. The wetland line used to go, it went like this. So this was all upland. All this was upland on this piece of land. So we forget this piece. We're well over the 6,000 square feet. We're probably six. Well, there's probably 18,000 square feet of area that became wetlands. But I think, you know, he has no problem still putting these placards up here just to keep it protected, whether it's part of this or not. This will meet, it, meet the legalities of this but as a concession for the whole. We'll keep everybody out of here and just let it go into... 
Now, has has the order of conditions for the senior housing been closed out? There weren't any. Oh, that's they right. That's right. They because outside. there were no wetlands. There were no wetlands within 100 feet. That's right. So, if that's possible, just to, for the legality of it, and as a concession, as a well, no, I as a good neighbor, I understand saying. totally. Let's keep it clean. But yeah, they, if you do a, if you file an NOI, a new NOI to create that many to create that. But that's just yeah, I know. Do we have? Could we? But Melissa, I think Melissa asked an important question or a mm -hmm. good question. Mm -hmm. But I believe we have enough on our own to cover what we're asking for. Anyways, or he's got the equipment. We'll go right down, right down the edge here. And it's just, you saw. Well, what's cheaper, it's buying good. the NOI or running the equipment? <clears throat> I think the NOI well, depends. is cheaper. I could say sometimes he owns the equipment. I'd run the equipment and then be done. And I have to deal with coming here and paying me. <laughs> I'm shooting myself in the foot here. Today's my birthday, so this costs him a lot. <laughs> Today is not a good day for him. <laughs> so have what you, is it, triple time and a half? So, Have you done like, an, an, like a formal analysis, whether it's wetland scientist or whatever, out this area to, to, I guess, I would feel okay if we had a report certifying, you know, that. Well, I've been doing this since 1986. Yeah. That. And I have. But we need something a little bit more on paper to demonstrate. Um, so that I can give like a plant. Uh, I can. We could do that. We can. I can have Zach from my office. He's he's. He went to uh, Unity College in Maine, and that's all they do is environmental stuff like that. So he'll be the guy that'll write a report on what he sees, his findings. <laughs> but we'll, we'll focus to keep it the legality. We'll focus on this yes. piece here. <laughs> that sounds. That sounds that we could do that. I and you would still to, yeah. not leave those piles there. No, he wants he's gonna he's gonna clean all that up. You're gonna grade that up, clean yep. that up. Okay. It'll all turn into water. So then I'll have I'll have I'll have do that for the next meeting. I'll have a and like a like a monitoring type plan, so something for us to go back. You know, when you go to close it out, to say yes, your wetland has been cre created. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. So that would be so like if, yeah. pretty much a condition that you would, a condition that we give a, a report of this area of what we find for, for the wetland species throughout. So essentially create your replication plan, but instead of, you know, a formal dig out, yeah. make a replication plan for the area. Showing that this yeah. is what we found out here. Yeah. We had to do an asbolt anyway, so yeah. that's all we're going to do. We'll do an asbolt of that area and show all the pockets of... In this section, to keep it, I'm not going to do it yeah. out on three acres because it will really be crying. Yeah. I think it just gets a little <laughs> too dicey. We didn't have to house. argue with you much when we went up there and looked at that. I know. So I, I know there's a lot of pockets of highbush blueberry. There's big pockets of uh, cattails. I haven't told anybody about all the blueberries because somebody will go in there and pick them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll write up bears again. So do you like oh, look at a picture of that bear. He was right down in there yesterday. Yeah, that's where Everywhere the bear's been hanging out. Uh, unbelievable. I saw him on Main Street about a half hour before that, right at Al Goo's house. Right on Main Street. Jumped out in front of my, I, I mean, for me to skip. And he said, <laughs> <laughs> he went to the telephone pole. I stopped, got up on his back legs, and starts like the cartoon character, scratching his back. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> then he dropped out and he went to Donaldson's front door. <laughs> Sniffed around and then went up to Goose. He was on my front walk. I was that, waiting from the ring the doorbell. This is a, this is a, I think this is a, a, a full size male because he yeah. looked pretty big. Big, I got big. <laughs> All right, so we can do that. So how do we? Would that be a condition or is that a? I think you need to put that in front of us first. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we can do that. And then address whatever the four hundred one issues are with. All right, four hundred one. We got some emails back and from from. Uh, Kimberly today, and I had a site walk about the driveway in March, and it, it looks completely different than what it looks like now. If you go there now, it's everything's growing, everything. So I'm going to address her stuff, but I'm going to also say that this is what we're doing. We're working through this with the board. I sent her an email saying that I'm working for the replication area with the board right now, and I'll let her know what we come up with. And that's what we'll do. We'll give a, an analysis of 
of what's there. Yeah, I'd say keep it on this lot. And it'll be all on that lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's cool. just that like... Works. It also simplifies things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it does. I love the concept. It would have been great. Yeah. I told that at the last meeting. I said, Jim, I'll buy this off and I'll put two buildings down here. But you wouldn't do it. <laughs> all right. I know what you guys are looking for. And we'll... So if we could just continue this amendment and we'll yeah. be back in a couple weeks. So it just stays on the agenda. Thank you. We're going to Wimpersaki, right? Yeah, so... The next meeting? Oh, Actually, so that's... We're not meeting the first... Correct. We're 16th. meeting the 16th. Yeah, we're not there. So, so we'll be after the last meeting in July. What is that date? It will be until August, I think, then. 6th. We'll August meet. 6th? Yeah. So it'll be August 6th. Yeah, because we're, we're meeting on not on the 2nd. Correct. So we're meeting on so July so. 16th. Yes, yeah. and then August 6th will be the following one. Okay, so August 6th. Peter, since this was a hearing, um, the, the commission will have to vote to continue it. Oh, this was a hearing? I yeah. don't think I ever opened yeah. Oops. So moved. <laughs> Second. <laughs> Discussion, aye. roll call. Clock eye. Don't go eye. Gentilucci eye. Danza eye. Crane eye. Tamika, you just scared the Jesus out of me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. So we're square. Good. Okay. There I go. Before I leave, thanks. Are there any other things that he needs to just um, to document or to submit to us in terms of paperwork, or is it, or are we going to treat this much like as an administrative change? No, it's a full amendment. It's so full, okay. uh, just give Tamika the green cards when you. Yep. Or well, the white cards. Yeah. Whatever. They are. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Purple. Oh, yes. What's that? Purple. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the green cards, you get a way to come back, but now they're allowed just to prove that I did send them. I like those, and they're so much cheaper. So, the, uh, certificate I got those. The certificate's yeah. mail. And there was a whole bunch of them. I like those better, because they go 60. regular mail. Hope you got your green card, we'll let you stay you in the country. You don't have to sign for okay. <laughs> All right, I'll take care of that. While I'm here, we submitted something for an NRAD on Emerald Road, and I was just wondering if um, did you get did you see that, Tamika? Yes, I did receive that today. So that um, that has to be as a public hearing as well. So since you guys aren't going to be here on the sixteenth, um, we can set everything up for that August sixth meeting as well. If you're okay with that, yeah. You know, Does that work? Maybe if we could do a site walk before then, if it works, so we could ask for that. I'll just show you what it looks like. It's a pretty big site. There's a very, very distinct wetland. This is on Emerald Road. There's a, there's a wetland that follows down so like this. Pretty much off to the side. And it's actually pretty following the grades. It's a pretty easy walk. It's a forest. It's not thick pickers. Not like this other one. This one is it's a forest and uh, it's a very distinct. So we can do a site walk on that, whatever works for you guys. And then we'll have a hearing on in August. So this one, I know you guys were out here. This is Turkey Hill is right here. Meager's place was right here. Right. So it's down in this area. And this is the area that has been some from this is Saharity. Mm -hmm. There was some gravel runoff and all that, so it's in that vicinity. So we all know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's. This is a conservation land, I believe. You just yes, built these is. houses in the future. So, yeah, this is, that's yep. lot three. That's lot, okay, one, yep. two, three. Yep. 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 So he owns this piece down here, and then he owns all this in here. Yep. So. Not that it's important to this, but there's at least one easement up there, isn't there? Up there to get further back? I don't believe so. No? No, no, this is it. This is okay. the only piece. <laughs> there's a way to get in here <laughs> off a of Welch. Right. So. All right. What works, what, work, what works for you guys? Well, a sight walk. <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh, comments and then an attachment for with the supplemental. Okay, let me just go over here. I think it might be the proper G Well, that's the locus map. Well, that's the supplemental information. Here, let me just throw this up here while I'm at it, and then. Why don't I see that? Did they change it again? So That's like, I can't see that to save my life. <laughs> what yeah, are you looking where's, for? Where's Leah? Shut the lights oh, off yeah. for us. Oh, yeah. After conversation with the timber harvester, I'll be reducing the number of resource crossings down to two. Nice. before the end of the month. Well, that's coming up at us. We're having to do it now. Oh, now that is a very interesting comment. And let me just shoot to here, because I don't see... What were they talking? So this is the... This is just a gist version of this. I think even turn? No, that's right. That's the right orientation. Yeah. North is mm -hmm. up. <clears throat> Let's go here. It's got to be this one yeah, here, Yeah, it's right? the big one. Yep. Yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah, that's right. You can tell by the road loop-de-doops. <laughs> <laughs> Technical term. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. Too. That's <laughs> That's how I orient myself most days. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that means they can't start until Natural Heritage gives their um, <clears throat> right letter of approval. God, it's been a while since I've thought about it. Well, that. I also think they're not, I mean, they'll, didn't that say it was in the south, oh, southwest? Yeah, it's in the bottom, it just clicks here. the bottom corner. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see what they say. Do we have any other comments or questions for the forester or the harvester? If they're starting by the end of the month, they'll start well before our next meeting. So anybody who has comments, please send them through to Mika. These are always so difficult to read, I feel like. Because they are crossing the stream. Like SC2 is stream crossing too. Right. Mm -hmm. And give a detail. There's a wetland. So crossing. did they say wetland crossing two and stream crossing two were the yeah. ones that are being eliminated? Yeah. Okay. Wetland two. Yep, two and two. Yeah, C2 and WSC2. Yep. Yeah, because there's WC2. Can you Okay, I see where they're going with it, yeah. Could you open the plan that's attached to that email, Peter? This is what's <laughs> attached to that email. Oh, really? That's it? Yep. They showed a landing. So for that, mm, not that I see. <clears throat> so if they're eliminating stream crossing too, are they not going over here? Or in the southern portion? Yeah, because they're gonna want access to the road. I mean. But if they're going to do it, then how can they eliminate Wetland Crossing too? Well, that area they are completely ignoring this. I mean, if they're not crossing two, they can still get all the way over here. They just can't get here. Yeah. But they hold on to SC two. No, SC two and WC two are both supposed to be are expected by the. 
Yeah, they hold Jason on to those. They to keep in those. Which <clears throat> ones will be prior to the harvest? I'm expecting it will be those marked. So I, that's not clear to me if those are the two that they're keeping or those are the two that they're losing because they can't lose WC1 because that's how they get to the road. Can you pull up the email one more time? Sorry. Your conversation. We will also be reducing the number of resource crossings down to two. We'll determine which that will... Okay, so they just don't know which ones... They're eliminating yet, but most likely it will be SC2 and WC2. Okay, I read that wrong. Okay. Yeah. No, it took it's, several it's times. Written, yeah, it's written. Are we sure that's right? Because no. I'm I, I still read. I can read that both ways. I'm reading it both ways, too, and I'm looking at the map. WC1, they can still get into the property without yeah. crossing WC1. That just gets them to the northwest corner of the property. And I'm also noticing SC2, if you eliminate SC2, you can't even get down to SC1, which makes me think SC1 is yeah. being eliminated. Oh. So it, it is unclear. My, my guess would be that so they can get there. I mean, if they, they're coming from here, they would follow this road and go SC1. Without no, that's, going to, that's, so that's not a road. Stream. That's the stream. Oh, 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 oh. So, yeah, yeah, everything with like three lines, essentially, or the two thick and the... One in the middle is a stream. The <laughs> single dash is where their oh those you know, okay their path yeah. is. Yeah. So I am reading it wrong. Okay. And I think they're accessing the site from the northeast. Yeah, corner. I think from I that. I think X. that's the starting point. The it looks X. like. Yeah. So they're starting yeah. there. Log landing. <laughs> where are you seeing that? The legend. There we go. Yeah. The uh, log line X. landing is X. Okay. It's at the top. And a stand, so number, stand number five is right. My question was yeah, where right they landed them. Oh, they landed yeah. them all the way over there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So they, they have, have a few landings sprinkled. Four and six. Okay. I wonder if they're getting to the western if they go down part the of the line. site. Yeah, if they go across WC one, if they cross, if they keep that one and cross there, the they can left. get all, they can go all the way down along the western half of the property. Yep. Which means you could eliminate WC two and SC one. So that would make sense. So no, does the stream actually SC1 terminate here? Down. Why not? Because if they went down this way, then that's how they would get over here. No SC two. They can get down over there through SC two. Yeah, but then why come this way if there's nothing really over there? I guess there's two, but that's... Yeah, I see stand number four. Yeah, why do they have several <laughs> stand number fours and number twos? Yeah, I don't know. It's probably tight. That's a good question. I don't know. I wonder if when they drew it up, they had twos and ones. In case, as one as a primary and one as a Secondary. backup plan in case... Somebody had some. Because there are three twos on this plant, on this map. One here, yeah. one here, one here. <laughs> There's a four here in what I think is supposed to be a wetland, along with the four over here right next to the stream. I think it's based on, no, it's not based on species. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Unclear. Can we see that? Can you move that over a little bit? Peter, so we can see the legend. So, well, I guess they're still not working it out. So maybe our comments are, please send us the correct plan. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of trying to figure this out, because I don't think we will. No. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> so you got that, Jamaica? That's what we wanted. Peter's asking what all the twos are. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Joe. Two. I, know. I don't see it. That's why I'm saying. Is it more I, I down below this? I don't think we'll figure it out. Mm -mm. No, I think <laughs> we need more clarity on this. I don't even, am I missing? I don't see stand one. Is there not a stand <laughs> one? Nope, I don't see a stand one either. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't list it in the, in this. Oh, it doesn't, it's okay. It's just two through six. Okay. 
So that at least kind of makes sense, but why not start at one? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe they did and then eliminated it and then didn't want to renumber. I don't know. All right. So our comments are, give us a plan. So give us a real plan, please. Thank you. Close that, close that. We'll go back to this. So that's the forest cutting plan. Um, I am going to put something else under correspondence before we're done, but we've already said it. I'll say it again. No meeting July 2nd. Our next meeting is the 16th of July. Uh, we haven't done work on the bylaw to us to do anything. I haven't received comments from anybody, so I'll just make progress as I can, maybe soon. Anything's possible. I will try uh, to set, Peter, I'll try to set aside some time to review it, too. I have not had a chance. Great. Thank you. Um, any public comment? Anything? Short of that, I have one other piece of correspondence, which I can pull up, which I believe we all got. But that said, basically, uh, that, um, what's that? Bryce Lemon. I was going to say, Bryce Lemon's, Bryce Lemon's orders have expired, and, sorry, superseding order has expired. So, uh, they can't be doing no building there right now. That's a little mm. scary. Yeah. Now, I don't know that they were planning to. I think all the houses on Phase 3 are built out already. Um, At least the ones that are jurisdictional concom. Because, in fact, I haven't even seen a Bryce Lemon building permit in a while. Mm. Um, what did Tamika forward? Tamika forwarded, oh, because I think Clee called DEP about it. Um, so their next steps are submit a partial COC request to Mass DEP for the superseding and submit an NOI for the remaining work to us, which includes restoration or compliance work related to past unpermitted activities of the site, if any, and then their 401 water quality cert to Mass DEP. So we'll see that forthcoming. We think? I would assume. <laughs> I couldn't see why I wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> Well, they still submit individual lots to us anyway. So, no, but the roadway. It's the roadway. The ro it's the, the crossing. Roadway. Yeah. The crossing yeah. is the roadway. Yeah, because yeah, it's cross. The, the big crossing is coming up. Yeah. So I would think they'd want it. What's an interesting question to me is, does it make sense that they would Well, they would have went to DEP. They wouldn't have necessarily notified us. They would have to go to DEP for the super. To extend the superseding, and they did it. Or, right, but so it but the letter that they, so they got they said they can first. come to us through us instead yeah. of going through DEP. It's up to the yeah. it's up to it's them. Expired. So no. does it make sense that we'd want to steer him? That's a, a condensate pump. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, does it make sense that we'd want to sort of persuade him to go back through DEP for another? I don't think he can. He can't until we're okay. unless yeah, unless we were to deny or get appealed. That's the only like route. Okay. So then yeah. we will see. We can only presume it before he starts doing work. He, Clee and friends, um, that we will see paperwork. Okay. Might not be a bad idea to send a, a note over to Blair and uh, find out what his intention is. Yeah. Sure. And explain to him exactly what Melissa said. That's, he was included on it, so he knows. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't mean anything. He doesn't. No, no, he got this. Is, I think it should come also from ConCom. Okay. Well, we were included on the email, so I had reached out and said that when they were, I let them know we weren't meeting again until July 15th, and nice. if they needed help in the meantime or submissions, we would be here. I'm just not sure what more to tell him. Do you know what I mean? I don't specifically know what you'd like me to say. I think you did it, Tamika. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think you did it. You reached out. You said if you need if you have questions, let me know. 
Yeah. That's all we can do. So you did it. You're good. Okie doke. Thank you. Was the order that just expired, did it cover that crossing? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, the kid did say bump's gone. Yeah. Stay on until it's done. Yeah. Ah! It was all of the road. Yeah. So, so because it expired, they can't just come back and get it extended at this point. Correct. Yeah. Hence why they have to come to us. Yeah. And we do as we please, not please, choose, etc. And then <laughs> whether something else happens after it, it's... I'm kind of surprised they like that. Yeah, that's... Um, yeah. They open, open up to <laughs> yeah. all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah I know. Yes. It's very surprising for a big project like that, too. Yes. But. Somebody fell asleep. Is there any other business before the commission? Well, we're we, I want to thank Joe. Been here a lot of years. 21, he says. 21. Yeah, that's a lot of years. Been a while, and I enjoyed every second of it. I still see you. I'm sure you enjoyed many of them. I just don't believe every second. <laughs> no, I agree. I enjoyed work with everybody. Like I said, the last time I said anything, it was, uh, I think the commission's in good shape. I mean, we've got strengths and talents now. That carry forward. I mean, Melissa was a, a good catch. Uh, Jared was another one that, Almost wasn't, but <laughs> <laughs> started off a little rocky, but here we are. <laughs> and again, Glenda, I mean, I, I think, and everybody that participates, you know, I mean, it's just, and you got to have, the, the only piece of advice I would leave you with is not everybody's going to agree with you, and most times you're going to be the, you know, the, you're either the hero or the goat, you know, and most times you end up being a goat. But, but, you know, you're not going to please everybody, you know, and everybody has plenty of time to define, you know, that puddle as being wetlands without reading the book, you know, and they're the ones that are going to come at you. And that's fine. That's, that's your job. Mm -hmm. And you perform admirably. <laughs> Peter came along at the right time and it progressed from that. Still not sure if that was lucky or not. Depends <laughs> who you ask. If worse comes to worse, we'll call you. To be a consultant. Yeah. You all have my phone number. <laughs> call Joe on speakerphone. Do you always, remember? <laughs> I will always accept the call. As long as it's not long distance back, Judge. Fair. But, That's fair. Uh, you're all welcome to call me anytime you want. Right back at you. Huh? I said right back at you. Mm -hmm. We want to hear from you. Hey, maybe, maybe sometime I'll take a, a slight walk with you just for the why not? Yeah, for the time's sake. Thank you. The public, right? Only if yeah. it's raining. It's, it's only public. if it's raining. Only if it's raining. Do I have to bring the beer? Uphill, <laughs> both ways, <laughs> in the snow. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you all. You've all had. Thank you, Jones. All these walks are on Saturday, you know, so I can't make them. So I'm going to delegate him to represent okay. me, if like that's it. all right by you guys. Yeah. Good. I, I do have one other thing for the commission before we adjourn. Briefly, not a discussion point. I just want to bring up the possibility. With Glenda's potential issues appearing on Tuesday evenings. Oh, no, what happened? I missed uh, it. Because her offices are, the town offices in Holden are open late on Tuesday nights. Uh. And the town manager would <coughs> prefer that <coughs> staff are there. So you're suggesting a different night? Is I am. Kinda... I'm trying to, and I don't want to have a discussion until we have everybody to say after the, the appointments are done. Mm -hmm. So I think a topic for discussion on the 16th of July is, is Tuesday the right night for us to meet or should we consider moving? I'm not saying we should. I'm just trying to open up something to think about. That's right. Yeah. I would opt to Friday night or Saturday night. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> Good luck with that, Joe. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> or no, Not I'll Sunday be there, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Only if you provide beverages. 
All right, Skip. At his house. And snacks. Yes, at his house. Yeah. Definitely snacks. Yeah. Motion to adjourn. Second. I didn't Clock want to right. I'll let him ad- do the last one. Oh, oh, you took I it from him. I my second. <laughs> you took it from him. We're going to give him the chance to make the motion. <laughs> Seconds. I rescinded it. I rescinded it. Yeah. You get that, Jamaica? The second has been rescinded. <laughs> Jamaica. So uh, Joe can have the last second. Is Joe the seconder? Yes, he's the seconder. He's the seconded it. <laughs> you got it. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put his name in bold on the meeting minutes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you should put it in red. Are you gonna include me? I'm not kidding. You vote for it. I'm not kidding. Are you gonna include me for the for the meeting minutes when you when you email them out? I sure can because how else are you gonna see when I put it in red? <laughs> I think in red would be nice. I love that for him. I'm gonna do red. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Dog eye. Dog eye. Gentle eye. Dan's eye. Crane eye. We are adjourned at six fifty-seven. Thank you.